I want to mention something that you may have noticed about our application in the last two sections or so. Right now, I want to flip over to my terminal where you'll notice that my application is currently running. But if you look up at my status bar, you do not see the timer tray icon up here. And so you may have noticed on your own application, you might have noticed that at some point in time, for no discernible reason, the icon just suddenly disappears from the screen. So if I start the application back up, npm run electron, you can see, okay, yep, the thing is clearly up here on the screen. I easily see it up there. But then in some amount of time, who knows how long exactly, the icon will just mysteriously disappear. And we'll go through this video and maybe we will see this behavior in action, maybe we won't. So I wanna talk about why this icon is sometimes mysteriously disappearing from a change that we made in the last two sections, around the time that we did that refactor with the class. I'm gonna pull up a diagram that we looked at previously. So if you recall, the talk that we had in the last section or the previous application about garbage collection in JavaScript. So we had said that whenever we assign an object to a variable, that object, the browser window right here, is going to stick around in memory until no variable is looking at it anymore. So we had said that if we created a new browser window, called like say browser window v2, and then we told the add window variable to point at that object instead, and the original browser window, oh, and there you go, the icon just, just disappeared, you'll notice. So very relevant discussion we're having right now. So anyways, if we had reassigned the add window variable, the original browser window no longer had any references looking at it. And so JavaScript garbage collected that browser window object, which caused or would cause the browser window to just magically disappear. And so that is exactly the behavior that we're seeing right now. When that icon disappears, that means the timer tray instance that we had created is getting garbage collected automatically. So this is occurring because we do not have any variables pointing at the timer tray. Because remember, just two minutes ago or so, just a handful of minutes, I had said that, well, we don't need that reference to the timer tray anymore, let's clean it up. So the timer tray that was getting created right here is getting garbage collected and that is what is causing the icon to magically disappear. So we can solve this behavior by adding back in that let keyword that we had just removed. So we'll say let tray up here, and then we will save a reference to the timer tray that we're creating. So now a variable is pointing at the timer tray, so the timer tray should no longer be getting garbage collected by our application. So let's now restart this thing. And presumably, again, it's kind of hard to demonstrate, but presumably the icon will no longer just kind of magically disappear from the screen. I had wanted to remove this uh, reference right here very purposefully because I kind of wanted to demonstrate that behavior. So hopefully I didn't throw you through too big a loop in the last two sections by not kind of deliberately mentioning that, hey, this icon might disappear. If it did disappear and you were kind of confused, I apologize for that, but we should be good to go now. Okay, so now we've seen that garbage collection action in process or in practice, let's continue with another feature in the next section.